Okay, this is a common question that you should be able to explain in a neurobiology class, and this is exactly how I explained it on my exam, and I'm going to um, work it out for you guys here. So it says, explain how the voltage-gated ion channels are responsible for the changes in permeability seen during the action potential. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just kind of draw out a picture of the... Um, you know, of the action potential and what's actually going on there. And that can be represented quite simply like this. So what you can do is just draw out a little x and y axis. And you can call this the time. And that will be in milliseconds. Okay, milliseconds. And this over here is going to be the voltage. And that's in units of millivolts. Okay, so we have a time in milliseconds and the voltage in millivolts. Now, let's just arbitrarily assign a point here, and we'll call this negative 70 millivolts, which is usually close enough to resting membrane potential. That's essentially what I'm trying to do here. So we're at resting membrane potential. Now, what happens here is we have this spike, okay, this increase. And these are periods, and all of this stuff can be labeled, okay? So this right here, at this point, is just the resting membrane potential. Okay, so that's the resting membrane potential. Now, this side over here, this part of the graph, the increase, the rapid positive increase, because notice this is negative 70, and we'll say, I'll, I'll assign a value over here of plus 45 millivolts. So this rapid positive increase here is known as depolarization. So it's depolarization, okay? So that's the depolarization phase, and you might have guessed this over here, the decrease, is known as repolarization. So that's repolarization. Now this dip here, this dip where it becomes even more negative than the original resting membrane potential is known as hyperpolarization. Okay, so that's hyperpolarization. And those are different phases okay that happened during this um, process of creating an action potential so you start off at resting membrane potential you rapidly depolarize to plus 45 millivolts then you reach a peak here you rapidly repolarize and dip even below the resting membrane potential to what's known as a hyperpolarization phase and then you back to the resting membrane potential and level off until the next action potential occurs. Okay. Now, to explain why this happens and why this graph looks the way that it does, I would say this. So at resting membrane potential, the voltage-gated ion channels are closed. So that's the voltage-gated sodium ion channels and potassium ion channels that I'm talking about. Those are the important ones for the action potential. So... At resting membrane potential, those are closed, okay? And the membrane potential is mostly maintained by the sodium-potassium pump. Now, I've already talked about the sodium-potassium pump, so, um, so uh, check that video out. And there's this, so there's this maintenance there, okay? But none of the voltage-gated ion channels are, are open. So once the cell is stimulated to threshold, Okay, by the release of neurotransmitters, this voltage-sensitive sodium ion channels are then open. Okay, so first it's the voltage-sensitive sodium ion channels. They open up. The sodium enters the cell, okay, and what happens when sodium enters the cell? Well, sodium ions have a positive charge. Sodium enters the cell, causes an increase, okay, and becomes rapidly more positive inside the cell. So you're going to have this rapid increase in in positive charge inside the cell. And notice, that's exactly what we have going on here. Okay, we're at negative 7, boom, rapid increase to plus 45. That's, that's huge. Very, very fast, too. Okay. 
So it becomes more positive, okay? And during the depolarization phase, sodium ion channels are open, and the cell shows what's known as an increased permeability to sodium ions. So of course, if there's more sodium ion channels open, these voltage-gated channels, then we're going to see an increase in the um, permeability of the cell to sodium. So at the peak of the action potential, so at this point over here, at the peak of this action potential, the sodium gated, the voltage gated sodium ion channels are closed. They're closed and they're locked. Okay, so that's important. They're closed and locked, so they can't be reopened. And at that at that point, what ends up happening is the potassium gated ion channels are open. Okay, the potassium voltage gated ion channels are open. And what do you think happens there? Well, the cell increases its permeability to potassium ions and it rapidly repolarizes, okay? So it rapidly decreases. In, um, it shows a rapid decrease, so rapid repolarization. And since the sodium ion channels are closed, okay, and the cell has an increased permeability to K plus ions or potassium ions, it results in what's known as hyperpolarization. Okay, where the voltage dips below the resting membrane potential, and, that, and again, that's a result of the sodium or the right the sodium channels being closed. Okay, and more potassium channels being open than normally would be open allows this to reach what's known as hyperpolarization, or you know, a point that dips below the resting membrane potential. So at that point, the sodium ion channels are unlocked, and the potassium ion channels are closed, okay? And by unlocking the sodium ion channels, it prepares or sets the, sets the conditions to generate another action potential.